Hey everyone, it's your friend James, and today we're taking a look at the Volantex 761-5. This is a micro Mustang, 400mm um, wingspan, one cell power, um, cordless motor, and it's got everything you need to get flying. This is a ready-to-fly set. So let's begin and take a look at what comes in the box and how it performs. So taking a closer look at the P51D Mustang, uh, for some reason my right machine guns weren't painted and the left ones were, uh, so I guess someone forgot at the factory, but other than that, the lines on the aircraft looked amazingly good, and uh, also the paint scheme was just absolutely stunning. Um, even the engine exhausts were molded in, so uh, I was very happy with it. Um, the aircraft was painted after Bunny, um, a P-51 flown by Captain Roscoe Brown of Tuskegee Airmen fame, the famous Red Tails. And as you can see, this is a four-channel aircraft with aileron elevator and rudder controls. I was very impressed with how this turned out. So this is the transmitter that was shipped with the P-51 Mustang. Um, for those of you who have flown the Lentex Micros, this is pretty much the same unit, but uh, they got rid of the fake antenna, which is good because the fake antenna always broke off in my experience, and they added an aerobatic shoulder button. Um, what this does is when you press it, and give an aileron or an elevator input, um, the aircraft will perform an automatic roll or an automatic loop. But other than that, this transmitter will work with your Ranger 600 and old uh, J3 Cub. For those of you unfamiliar with this transmitter, um, there is a toggle switch on the right hand shoulder. What it does is it controls the gyro functionality of this aircraft. Um, in expert mode, which is with the toggle away from you, uh, the gyro is completely turned off, so the aircraft um, can do stunts without gyro intervention. And with mid and beginner modes, which is the switch in the middle and the position closest to you, um, those are the, fun the modes in which the gyro is turned on. In those modes, um, your Bank, pitch, and roll angles are limited, but um, more so in the beginner mode, and in mid mode it gives you a lot more um, control. Digital trims here, um, they all work really nicely with beeps that um, come out of the transmitter to tell you where you are on the trim scale. And there's also, also a um, return to home function, which is actually compass based. Um, not all that reliable in my previous experience with quads, so um, I wouldn't rely on it. Uh, make sure you read the manual if you really want to try that functionality out. So here are the other goodies that came with my P-51. Uh, first of all, a spare propeller. I lose, <laughs> I've, I've lost a couple of these um, during my time with the P-51, uh, even though it's got a red spinner, it's still very easily lost if you fly near vegetation. So if you could, please pick up a few more uh, spare props if you want to pick up the P-51 too. Um, there's the prop retainer. This is the part that slides onto the main prop shaft. And I guess I could show you how it works a little bit better this way as well. Um, the retainer and the prop basically snap on like Legos, like so, and yeah, it's a pretty secure fit, and it takes a bit of force to snap off. So that's the prop and the retainer. There are the landing gears, of course, if you choose to install these. Um, I'll show you how to do so in a bit. There's a USB to micro low C plug. Um, charger. It takes about an hour or so to, to charge each battery. Um, there are really cheap multi-port USB chargers that could do um, six 
batteries at once. And uh, I'd really recommend picking up one of those if you plan on flying the P-51 a lot. And here's the stock 360 milliamp hour one cell battery. This is a battery that you can pick up on, you know, sites like Banggood or, uh, you know, various outlets online. Uh, the stock battery is okay. It's kind of a hit and miss. One of the batteries that I have with my other P51 um, kind of swelled after a few flights. So make sure you pick up really good quality one cell uh, batteries for the P51. And there are um, the retaining screws for the landing gear, three of them just in case you lose one, and a small, really hard to use screwdriver. So if you have a better screwdriver, use that as well. Then there's, of course, the really well-written manual. So in this short clip, you'll see the P-51 being put through its paces, um, doing a few simple aerobatic maneuvers like rolls and loops. And considering the extremely windy conditions today, I think the P-51 did extremely well. Um, I tried to fly the aircraft at very low and very high speeds just to show you what the envelope was like, but you'll see the aircraft get blown around and the gyros working really hard to compensate uh, for the wind. Simple aerobatic maneuvers can be performed by using the left shoulder button marked aerobatics. Press it once and pull back on the elevator stick or push the aileron stick to the left or right and the aircraft will perform an automatic loop or an automatic roll. Aerobatic maneuvers can also be performed manually. Just to show you how easy it is to fly the P-51, this is me flying with just one hand with the throttle at about a little less than half. Really easily done with the gyro on. And as crazy as it sounds, a couple of the guys at the field actually learned how to fly on the P-51. I'm not saying that's a good idea, but it's really testament to how far gyro technology has come, even on tiny warbirds like this. Thank you for making it so far in the video. Um, this has to be by far my favorite toy of 2019. Um, it's cheap, it's robust, it looks nice, it flies nice. Um, so despite the few problems I've had with, you know, ease of maintenance, the length of the landing gear, etc. I'm still very, very happy with it. So if you'd like to purchase the P-51, please uh, visit the link down below. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next review. Thanks.